Parshas Ki Seitzei, Tav Shenayin Dalet. We're happy to be back here once again, Bika Cholom headquarters of Lakewood, New Jersey. Uh, beautiful accommodations that they give us. Would like to express my appreciation once again to the staff here at Bika Cholom, and of course to the rest of this big crowd, people that come every week and uh, prepare everything for us. Thank you very much, and we appreciate your hospitality. We're approximately now just uh, two and a half weeks from Rosh Hashanah. Elul is creeping by, Rosh Hashanah is coming, and in each parsha before Rosh Hashanah, we're able to take some things out and give us some small lessons to build up our confidence as we get closer to Rosh Hashanah, to give us um, some pointers on how to do our job and really what we have to accomplish before the Yom Noraim. Chazal tell us at the outset of this week's Parsha that this whole Indian of Yufas Toyar, beginning of Parsha's Kiseitse, we talk about Yufas Toyar, come back from Mulchama, they, 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 they win a war and they take some captives and a person wants to marry one of the um, captives, people that they took captive. So the Pesach tells us this entire Parsha of Yifas Taya, Zok Rashi, Rashi says at the beginning of the Parsha, that what kind of a war are we discussing here? We are discussing a Milchemes Rishus, a war that was fought as a Rishus, not one that is a Milchemes Mitzvah. Why? And if you look at some of the Rashis, Rashi, there, Rashi brings down in some most Chumashim, that are put out today anyway, that there is a parenthesis there. And Rashi says that because had the Torah, had we been involved in a Milchemes Mitzvah, so the Torah already tells us about a Milchemes Mitzvah, loy sechaya kol neshama. When it comes to Milchemes Mitzvah, you are not allowed to leave anyone alive. So this whole parsha of captives would not be Nogea at all. Right? So the, we, we, we know now that we're discussing a Milchemes Rishos. The Nesiv Shalom, as is the Derech of the Nesiv Shalom, many times the Nesiv Shalom discusses and elaborates this Parsha, Alpi Derech HaAvoida. And he says the following, In our battles through our life, in our battles with the Yetzirah, so there are two types of battles really. There is the Mulchama that we have with the Yetzirah of Devorim HaAsuri. The Yetzirah might come to a person and say, do something that is Asur. That's one type of war that we have. And whether most of, you know, we, we try to fight the Yetzirah, but that's one tact, that's one way that the Yetzirah comes to a person and says, the Torah says, so and so and so, the Yetzirah somehow tries to convince you to be over that anyway. Devorim HaAsuri. And then says the Nesir Shalom, there is a different type of Mulchama. There's a Mulchama called a Mulchemes Rishos. Just like in, in, in our Pasha, like we said, where the Mulchama is for things that are actually Mutter. Things that are Mutter Min HaToyro. The Yitzharah comes to a person and he says to the person, I want you to do something. But this thing is totally not Asr min HaToyra. And the Nesiv Shalom tells us that the battle with the Yitzhara in this way is a battle of Kedoshim to you. We're really, min HaToyra, you go by the letter of the law, if you look in the book, you're not going to find the Isr. But there's a different type of Mulchama. That's a Mulchama Shrishos. That's a Mulchama on things which are really, actually, Mutter. And on Kedoshim to you, we've actually mentioned uh, I think it was last year when we discussed Karshish Kedoshim, the Ramban tells us over there that what we're being taught by Kedoshim to you is that even by things that are mutter, technically, a person is not supposed to be novel Roshos HaToyra. Just because the Torah doesn't specifically tell you that something is Osir does not mean that you can just go all out and doing it. In order to be Mekayim Kedoshim to you, you have to work on that too. And that is the Indian of Mochemes Rishos. 
The Mulchama with the Yetzirah regarding things which are technically mutter. Of course, right? A person, you're, you're allowed to eat. You're supposed to eat. But how do you eat? You're allowed to talk. There are certain times, right, that you're, even though um, keeping quiet is a virtue, it's something which is uh, extremely chashuv um, in our book, right, when a person should not talk that much, right, but still there are times that you're supposed to talk, but there's a machemes rishos, the Yetzirah tries to get you to talk in a certain way. So like we've said many times, that in order to reach this madrega of Kedusha, of Kedusha to you on things that are mutter, you need a lot of siyat mishmaya. It's a very difficult thing for a person just to do on their own. And really, what we need from HaKadosh Baruch Hu in order to accomplish this, is we really need strength, which is l'mayla midera chateva. The Siva Sholem tells us that the way we go about these things are t'chilosoi hishtavos. First, a person has to, you have to do your heshtavos. You have to begin to try. The soifle matana. The only way to actually accomplish this, to be such an accomplished person, that you can actually be makbid and work on all those things that are technically mutter, but how to go about talking, how to go about eating, how to go about doing anything that really the Torah doesn't say is usher, for that you need a lot of siyat and nishmaya. You need, you have to begin, and then there's a gift min ha-shamayim, HaKadosh gives you a gift and he helps you. You have to do the best of your ability. And then HaKadosh Baruch Hu will take over and he'll help. Like the Pasuk says, the Kadash, the Pasuk says, the Kadash Tem, the Yisem Kedoshim. Right? In other words, the Pasuk is telling you, if you go ahead and you begin this journey of Kedusha, then the Yisem Kedoshim, the Rabban Shalom, will help you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Do you make yourself Kadosh? Then the Yisem Kedoshim. And HaKadosh Baruch will see to it that you attain that level that you want to and you need to get to. And that is what our Pasuk means, says in Siva Shalom. One of the ways, the drushes that we can learn from our Pasuk, Ki When you go out to fight with your enemies, when a person goes out to fight this Muhammad, like Rashi says, what type of Muhammad is it? It's a Muhammad Rishos. When you go out to fight this battle, and you go out and bring extra Kedusha into your life, and you do the, your best, then the Pesach tells you, Hashem If you go out and do your share of Mechemes Rishos, of upgrading your level of Kedusha, then the Pesach tells you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu assures you, the Pesach tells you, Hashem, Hashem will give you the Yetzirah in your hand. He will give you the capability to fight the Yetzirah and to fight this battle. The Siva Shalom says that a person needs to understand also that the battle with the Yetzirah is a battle that you really have to fight knowing how the Yetzirah works. How does the Yetzirah work? If you think about it. If as soon as a person actually takes a step up in their life and they go up a Madrega, the Yetzirah comes to you with an even greater Nisayan. A greater Nisayan, and let's see if you can handle that. That's just the way of the world. That's the way that the Yetzirah operates. The Gemara Masech, the Sukkot, Dafnun Beis, Omar Aleph, tells us, the Gemara says, Kol HaGodo Mechaveroi, a person who is greater than his peer, greater than his friend, Yitzroi, a person, then you know, if a person is greater than his friend, Yitzroi Godo Minenu. Rest assured that that person who's greater has a greater Yetzirah too. Explains in the Siva Shalom over here. That the more a person accomplishes, the greater the challenge is. Not shot that if a person is greater, you know that he has a greater Yitzhahara Stamazo. No! If a person's greater, it means that he accomplished more. And the more you accomplish, rest assured that the Yitzhahara is going to throw greater and greater challenges your way. You're going to have a lot more to face. And the help and, you, and the support that you get from a Kaddish Baruch Hu in this battle is directly related to what you put in, to how much Kedusha, how much you work on Kedusha. The Pesach further in the Parsha says, Ki Hashem Aleichecha Mishalech Bekerev Machanecha. Kodesh Baruch Hu Kaviyocho walks and goes and is amongst Bekerev Machanecha. 
amongst uh, your camp, Latzilcha, to save you, Velaseis Oyevecha Lefanecha. Kodesh Baruch Hu goes with you to give your enemies to so to hand them over to you and to save you. And then after that, the pasuk says, V'hayom Achanecha Kodesh. After it says, Kodesh Baruch Hu walks among you, V'hayom Achanecha Kodesh. So really, pasuk that we think we understand because Hashem is walking with you, therefore it doesn't look nice. You have to V'hayom Achanecha Kodesh. It says in Siva Shalom, shot like this, that Hakadosh Baruch Hu walks among you to save you from your enemies. And who are your enemies? Your enemies are the Yetzirah. But there's a caveat over here. There's a Tanai. And that's what it says in the Pesach. If a person has battles that they face in their life, if a person has challenges, you know how you get a Kaddish Baruch Hu on your side. You know how you can overcome the Yetzirah? You know how you can overcome other things in your life? You bring more Kedusha in your life, that's your Hishtadah. And that's how you zoicha to the matana from Hashem. That Hashem is with you, He's there to save you, and to give you a more strength to accomplish what you need to do. We're now a few weeks before Rosh Hashanah, like we said, and it's something that it's kedai to think about. That it's easy. It's easier sometimes to think about things that are written black and white in the Torah. The Torah tells you this and this is Asr, so we can think about, were we over this, weren't we? But when it comes to things like Midas, when it comes to things like Kedusha, when it comes to doing things that the Torah tells us, Mutter, it's something we have to concentrate. We have to think about. You know, the Siva Shalom says that we say, just from things that are, we tell you, go learn, go do things, because then it'll come to Lishma. The Siva Shalom says it works the other way by mitzvahs too. A person starts doing things in his life, he's always, no, of course, I'm doing it the same mitzvah. But then you get so involved in the Gashmi boy that it becomes a Shaloy Lishma. You enjoy the Gashmi too much. Let's talk a, learn this lesson. Let's talk a, do things, the extras, the things that we have to think about, the more Kedusha that we have to concentrate on. And let's try to incorporate a Kaddish Baruch Hu, incorporate Midas, incorporate going with Nimishur Tzadim, honesty, things like that, into our lives. So a Kaddish Baruch Hu will there, be there Lahatilcha. A Kaddish Baruch Hu will be there with us before Shoshana and give us all the help that we need to have a Kasiva Bachasim and